Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you yet another cybersecurity incident which is happening currently in the world. And it involves a brand new type of ransomware, I'm sorry, named Yurei Ransomware. And today we're going to take a look at how actually complex this thing is, how new it is, and what you can do if you're afraid that you might get infected. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this video and talk about how you can actually prevent yourself from getting infected. And also, if you want to learn hacking, be good at bug bounty and just, you know, be like me, then check out my course. Link is in the description as well. My platform, Avano, which, you know, it's your personal AI assistant. So check them both out. Link is in the description. So what even is going on? For all of you nerds who don't even know what ransomware is, then I recommend leaving this video. But of course, I'm going to tell you what a ransomware is. It is a specific type of program which infects all of your files. And I'm sorry, it encrypts all of your files and then asks for a ransom like money or a nude picture. I don't know. It, believe it or not, that actually did ha used to happen. A nude picture to unlock your files. No, not even kidding. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below how insane do you think that is. And of course, I answer to every single comment. So let's share some thoughts. So the first thing first we can actually immediately take from this is the name Yurei is basically something I did is a quick Google search revealed a lot of stuff regarding Yurei. And actually, believe it or not, if you go to the Wikipedia, it is a ghost in the Japanese folklore. It's kind of a ghost, and the name consists of two words, kanji and rei, but it's actually very weird. Why was this name chosen for this? We actually currently don't know, because if you Google the Yurei ransomware, in Bosnia, and it says that it looks like the results shown are quickly changing, meaning that this is a very fresh topic. I'm sorry, I am a Bosnian lad. But apparently, this is a very scary ghost, and it is something that is, I'm assuming, related to this. Now, this is a ransomware written in the Go language, and it uses ChaCha20 plus ECIES, which I don't know what that currently stands for, but we'll do a quick Google search. So what actually happened, it is a Uray is a recently observed malware family that reuses an open source code base, Prince Ransomware, which is actually a, that is a open source ransomware, and it adds a minimal customization, and it uses ChaCha20 for file encryption. So what even is a Prince Ransomware? Quick Google search revealed that this is actually a open source ransomware, which is built and it's written from scratch and go. It uses a mixture of ChaCha20 and ECIES cryptography in order to encrypt files securely so they cannot be recovered by traditional recovery tools. So this is a open source ransomware and it uses this with little customizations and it's basically been weaponized. So what even is ChaCha20? ChaCha20 is a cipher stream, believe it or not, and it includes a 256 bit key with a 32 bit counter and a 96 bit nonce and plain text so it is its initial state is a 4x4 matrix of 32 bit words so i don't want to get into the nerdy stuff but you just know it, it's hard to recover these files and what actually happened is in the early September 2025, the first reports, public reports, of course, conf and confirmations from the incident reporters in Asia. That's actually kind of crazy that the first continent that it hit was Asia uh, and the initial victim was a manufacturing firm. The initial incident responses in Asia it, it's kind of crazy. Now that we know the array, maybe it's related to Japan, but we never know. And within days, multiple victims reported across Asia and Africa. Actors publish data on leaked sites and in some cases. And currently what's happening is as of the 16th of September 2025, we have the rapid weaponization via the open source code. So it's very hard for us to issue, actually even say anything because we have so little information about it, but it's still very important to talk about it. So we're going to be actually just skipping over some parts and going over the mitigations and what you actually should do if you're afraid that you might be getting hit with it. Basically, back everything up. Back everything up. And in most cases, I don't know even if ransomwares do exist for Linux or if they do, that's kind of rare. But I'm assuming this is a Windows ransomware. Although I could be very wrong. There is a showcase MP4 here, so I'm not really going to show much about it because, again, YouTube's policies. However, I think this is a mostly targeting Windows. So if you're on Linux or Mac OS, for the, for the matter, you're actually kind of fine. So maybe maybe consider switching to Mac OS. I don't know. And, of course, authentications and forcing. Uh, okay, this is, this is, this is a plain, plain stupid 
advice because this has nothing to do with what happens if, if they get hacked because let, let me tell you something even if you have two-factor authentication if you got malware on a computer it's like you don't have anything that's how bad it is so don't worry about it just basically back everything up and just be careful because i'm assuming there is no zero day that allows this ransomware to spread it's mostly going to be spreading with uh, i don't know like like a download this pdf or download this document to get yourself some free stuff i don't know it, it, it mostly goes like that but it's very important for us to talk about it and today i decided to take some time to tell you a little bit more about it so make sure to let me know your opinion down in the comments box below i really want to hear more about the name what do you think about the naming of this thing and how actually related are these two things and somebody from japan could probably tell us more about it and of course tell me more about this send us a nude to unlock your files type of thing i mean i would like to leave your comments and if you want to make me if you want me to make a video about that as well then don't worry i will it's just gonna be a very touchy topic so just let me know in the comments would you like would you like me to make that and yeah thank you so much for watching this video stay safe stay responsible and as always peace